A creepypasta is basically the modern version of telling scary ghost stories around a campfire, only instead of a campfire, people now use forums to create internet lore that is shared and discussed around the world. So join us as we count 10 of the most disturbing creepypastas ever told. Number 10 the Slender Man. You may know The Slender Man from the popular online video game that you definitely shouldn't play alone in the dark with headphones on. Trust me, but The Slender Man has a history well before his long, faceless body was turned into pixels. The Slender Man is a being who looks like a man with extremely long, slender arms and legs. He also appears to have four to eight long black tentacles that protrude from his back, though different photographs and enthusiasts will disagree on this fact, and therefore it is theorized he can contract those tentacles at will. He is described as wearing a black suit, strikingly similar to the visage of the notorious Men in Black, and as the name suggests, appears very thin and able to stretch his limbs and torso to inhuman lengths in order to induce fear and ensnare his prey. Once his arms are outstretched, his victims are put into something of a hypnotized state, where they are utterly helpless to stop themselves from walking into them. In the past, and still to this day, he haunts the forums of the internet with his disturbing obsession with children, and those who become obsessed with his existence. Nobody knows what happens to the bodies, since nobody has ever escaped from an encounter with him. Number 9. The Russian Sleep Experiment Shortly after World War II, five political prisoners were subjected to an experiment in which they had to remain awake for 30 days in a tank filled with an experimental gas. After some time, the test subjects began to lose their minds among a number of other gruesome symptoms. However, the horror does not end when the experimenters try to save their subjects, far from it. Just know that this story may not be appropriate if you are squeamish or dislike gore, as the narrative goes into very graphic detail about the physical state of the patients. Thankfully, there are no pictures, but honestly, the words are enough to make this some serious nightmare fuel. Number 8. Jeff the Killer The picture of Jeff the Killer is perhaps one of the most disturbing you can find on the internet today. The basic story concerns Jeff, a serial killer who hides in the closet and whispers to its victims, go to sleep, before slaughtering everyone in the household. Even more disturbing than his MO is his appearance. His face is smooth and stark white, a huge grin and small lidless eyes. He is one of the most easily recognizable creepypastas, with his eerie stare posted across forums. His original story involves a fight that resulted in a chemical burn on his face and caused him to go insane. Soon after, he murdered his family and disappeared into the night to make guest appearances in your nightmares. Number 7. Ben Drowned Hacked video games are often found in creepypastas, but none is more famous than Ben Drowned. The story of Matt, a college-age boy who picks up a hacked cartridge of The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask at a garage sale. As the boy plays, he captures the strange occurrences in the game and real life until it ultimately culminates into a full haunting. The narrator and Ben's fates are left up to the reader's imagination, but the tale implies that a happy ending is not in the books for Ben. Unlike most creepypastas, this one has both a story version and videos of the disturbing game gameplay, including a strange, warped soundtrack. Number 6. Robert the Doll Not for the faint of heart, Robert the Doll really exists. The myths surrounding him vary, especially since it became so popular on the internet. The doll was given to artist Robert Eugene Otto in the late 1800s or early 1900s by a servant working in his family home. The doll, which he named after himself, then took on a life of its own and began to terrorize the family. Otto is said to have kept his doll into adulthood, and it subsequently tormented his late wife to insanity. When the doll was found by another family, the girl to whom it was given was terrified of it and refused to have it in her room. The doll is currently residing in Fort East Martello Museum in Key West, Florida. Visitors must ask Robert politely if they want to take his photo. If they mock him or take his photo without permission, Robert is said to lay a curse on them. Number 5. Candle Cove Everyone has a childhood television show that they have fond memories of, one that brings them nostalgia. 
For me, it's Ed, Ed and Eddie and good old Johnny Bravo. And then there's Candle Cove. Some adults rediscover this show from the 1970s on a television forum, but slowly their memories of the show grow darker and reveal more and more disturbing things. While the forum thread starts out innocent enough, we soon learn that the main character who was a little girl is actually being mentally tortured rather than enjoying her experience. And the set of the show turns real and very dark indeed. While all these people are remembering details of the show very similarly, it's revealed in the ending that there was no TV show called Candle Cove, and they were all actually watching TV static for 30 minutes and imagining everything. Number 4 the Goat Man. The story follows a teenager who goes down to Alabama to be with his extended family. While he, his cousins and their friends are camping out in the woods, they see a strange figure jerking and spouting gibberish as it follows them. They spend the rest of the night in fear as the Goat Man slowly infiltrates the group, terrorizing the teens into a frenzied state of paranoia. This continues for another few nights. The headcount of the group of teens initially starts off at 12, but soon drops to 11, nobody realising who is missing since they hadn't known each other for long enough. After a day or two, four of the group decide to leave while the rest decide to stay. More creepy noises are heard, the smell of burning blood and banging on the door. While the entire story is too long to share on here, the writer describes the voice of the Go Man to be obviously non-human, and links to a video of a cat talking, which sounds like this. Number 3 Persuaded Zombies definitely have a place in creepypastas, especially after having taken over the majority of pop culture. However, unlike most zombie stories, in this instance they aren't slow walking mindless bodies moaning while they hunger for flesh. After a massive oil spill, all those touched by the substance begin to viciously attack other creatures, causing mass panic across the country. The nameless protagonist holds himself up in his house, waiting for the screaming, violent horde to come crashing through his door and tear him limb from limb. And indeed, after some time, they do manage to break into his house, run right up to the door behind which he is sitting. But they do not break in or claw the door down. Instead, they whisper to him, We've come for you. You'll be happier if you open the door. It's not so bad. After two days of this mental torture, it seems our protagonist has given up since he finishes his report with, maybe it won't be so bad. Number 2 Smile Dog If there's any story on this list that best captures the message, be careful what you wish for, Smile Dog is it. The creepypasta deals with an image posted on an old bulletin board system back in 1992 called Smile.jpg. Those who saw the image either disappeared or died save for one Mary E, who the narrator goes to interview. What he eventually learns is that some things, even simple pictures, are left better as mysteries than dealing with the horrifying truth. In case you were wondering, the story does come with an accompanying image, and while I probably shouldn't show you this, and you probably don't want to see it, here it is anyway. Number 1 Anora Petrova. Anora Petrova was one of the most promising figure skaters in the United States until she discovered a sentient Wikipedia page about her. Each time she had a competition coming up, the Wikipedia page would tell her that she had already won the event before it actually happened. This led her to selfishly alter her fate by editing the page, but things didn't go the way she planned. Once she saved the page, instead of it saying that she had won the Olympic gold medal, the page told her she's selfish and she would get what she deserved. The next day, she gets banned from skating and everybody refuses to speak to her. After some time, the page messes with her head by telling her she's a pathetic little orphan, but it becomes true. I won't spoil the ending, but it's definitely worth a read. <laughs> 